Well, welcome back to the studio. Today I'm working on Chesty's head. I've got the rest of the painting pretty much washed in. I showed you the uh, showed you the complete painting in the very first frame of the video. Now I'm going to start working on her head. And I have the reference photo on my laptop to the right of my easel. It's on the tabaret. And this allows me to have my image right there that I can I can refer to. So first of all, I just I wash in the dark the shadows on the shadow pattern on her face. I just want to establish the planes of her head. This comes down here. Her muzzle comes here and then around this nostril and then the front of her muzzle here. There's a little bit smaller brush here and I can just brace, brace my hands against the canvas on the unpainted part. This is still wet down here. also want to get her eyes in. That one's sticking out just a little bit too far. So the wash, the cattle washed in behind her are dry. So I can just take a clean brush and come back and just lift, lift that color up. Now I will take a little bit lighter mixture, and again, my wash is an oil wash. This is oil paint. This is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. So I just go ahead and then do a lighter wash on the rest of her face. She doesn't have any white no blaze or no star or snip or she's got just a plain, plain face. She's a pretty bay mare. So we just kind of just start putting in the anatomy, the, the musculature, the depression over her eye. And she's darker in here. And then the Cheekbone is also, or the, the cheek, her cheek is darker. But then the cheekbone is lighter. The cheekbone's right there. And the side of her face comes down darker. And then she also has just a little depression down the center. They have nasal bones that come on their skull, and there's a, a dip in between those. And so there's also, when a horse has a real sleek coat, you can see that little depression there. Just a little bit. It's not real prominent, but it is just a little bit. It's a little bit dark, but I can come in and lighten that back up. I primed my canvas with white acrylic, a Liquitex, it's called Liquitex Basics. And that gives the surface, even though my canvases are primed to begin with, I like to come back and add that little extra coat on there. It just makes it a little bit slick to where, as I'm washing in my paintings like this, I can come back and easily lift up, lift up any of the color that I need to. You can see I can just lift out, lift out that color. She's got this comes in here. Make that just a little bit darker and go back in and put that depression. Now the light's hitting her over her eye here, the 
the orbit of the skull, the orbital bone, makes that pop up there between that and the muscles here on her head. That, that pops up and is, has a highlight. And she also has here, there's a highlight where the muscles on the head are, and also there. Now again, that's going back into shadow. But even here, she's going to be a little bit lighter because that's, that's raised up. Her forelock. I'm going to go ahead and paint it over where the bridle is because then I can come back and lift out that area where the bridle is. But her forelock is going to be kind of flying in the in the breeze because she's she's really moving and so we want her this forelock to really help give that feeling of movement so we let it fan out there. I make it actually a little bit longer than in my reference material just to accentuate the her action. Now the interior of her ears is dark and bay horses have a black tip on the, the ears, which is just beautiful. I love bay horses. That's my favorite color of horse. I used to have a little bay gelding, and oh my gosh, she had the most alert ears, and I just loved those reddish brown ears with those black tips. Were so expressive. Her ears, she's watching that cow. This, she's totally focused on him and what he's going to do. These horses have to be really fast and alert. So that cow is to follow him and keep him from getting back in the herd. That's why they call it cutting, because they're cutting that cow away from the rest of the herd. And they just, that's their whole purpose of this, is to keep them separated from the other cattle. Now my bridle is going to come, it's a, it's a head stall that has, what I call, it has one ear. And so it's, it comes, this one comes in front of this ear. Let me go ahead and put the dark, the, brown or part of the ear in here. And then this head stall loops in front of this ear. That helps keep the bridle in place. Oh my gosh, as I was a little girl, we when we went to visit the tack shop, there'd be some of the saddle companies and bridle companies had uh, catalogs and I'd, I'd get a catalog and take it home. And, oh my gosh, I, I could spend hours looking at those catalogs and different bridles and bits and oh my gosh, I just, I love tack. I love horses, anything to do with them, so that's just, they're such beautiful animals. Before I met Cowboy, before I met Cowboy, before I met Jack, years before I met him in high school, he worked as a cowboy. He had a lot of experience on horseback, and but we, we really had a lot in common. We both loved horses. We never had any because we just traveled so much that it would have been too hard to, to have them. But we certainly, when I was painting horses, oh my gosh, we traveled all over the country going to different horse ranches and breeders and we went to, the, we spent a week on the backside at the Kentucky Derby during Derby week, met all the owners and trainers, D. Wayne Lucas and oh, just Bob Baffert, and Charles Whittingham, just so many of them. Got to see all the horses. I sketched them all. And Jack took photographs. And it was a dream. I'm 
going to come back and add, then make a little highlight here, get on the front of her face. Now there we go. I've got Chesty's face and head basically washed in. I'm going to have to come back and do a little bit more refinement. But this is basically how I do it. I'll just come back and do some more pushing and pulling. You know, accentuate darks and highlight the, the highlights and just refine it more. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos and I do hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others I do. And I do hope you'll come visit my blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my video. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. And again, thank you for visiting our studio.